All right, hey, what's up guys, Gratuitous here. In this video, I got a really, really quick tutorial. It's about how to keep multiple plugin windows open in FL Studio. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple, it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, so all you have to do is hold down Alt and click. Okay, and you can see that you can open up multiple windows in FL Studio. That is actually how quick it is because what happens is if you click, you click another one, it's going to replace it. And this is just good to know for workflow. Like for example, if you want to have a plugin open where you actually want to be able to click in between them, that's good to know. But if you just want to, like for example, if we have FL keys open and then you're like, well, I want plucked, but I want to close FL keys, it's a workflow thing. Boom, done. Okay, now in your general settings, you can see right here, there is auto select linked modules. This is enabled by default. And again, you can see if I open up this plugin and then open up this plugin, you're gonna see it closes, right? You can disable this if you would like. I do personally like it enabled and I like to choose to hold down alt if I want multiple uh, virtual instruments open. But you can see if I open up plugins now, you can see I have two. Okay, so a fast way to close them is to hit escape. So hit escape, you can see I can open it and then open this one. Now there's two, but you can see that if you had multiple plugins going on, it can get really annoying. So again, uh, I like to have auto select linked modules enabled in FL Studio. And then watch if I open up this plugin and then this plugin, you can see it just replaces it. One last thing to say, since we're here, if you click the arrow to go to the plugins menu, you can go detached and then this can actually take the plugin outside of FL Studio, but I usually have that disabled. I'd like to keep everything in FL Studio. Now regarding the plugins in the mixer, if you click them, you will see that they open up like that already. You can already open up multiple. But if you have all the plugins open and now you have too many plugins, another keyboard shortcut is hitting Alt and F12, okay? So you can see it can close all your plugins. Alt F12 keyboard shortcut is in view. You go to layout and you can see you can actually close all windows, but you wanna go close all plugin windows. Because again, as I always say in my tutorials, this is the setup I like where we have the channel rack, the playlist and the mixer right here. If you want the playlist big, you simply hit enter and you are good to go, okay? Again, if you guys got any FL Studio questions, feel free to visit me at itsgratuitous.com and I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.